probably the biggest ticket or most significant unique selling point is the air suspension. Because of our unique class exclusive coil rear suspension, we we're able to easily adapt the air suspension to this vehicle. So once again, it is a closed system. We have a compressor, reservoirs, and then air springs at four corners. Once those reservoirs are primed and holding pressure, we basically, it is closed and it is very quickly will, will low level for you. The advantage of the system, like I said, is, is load leveling. So regardless of payload, the system will, will basically bring you down to this optimum ride height that we call normal ride height. So it's there for comfort when you're loaded, as well as, as optimum driveline angle. So that's a big advantage to the load leveling system. It also offers versatility to the customer in terms of multiple ride height selections. The customer can select four ride positions, off-road two, off-road one, normal ride height, and then the entry exit. Total range is four inches of selectable ride height. The truck will automatically seek aero mode when you exceed 62 miles an hour. So you'll see that we have a lot of trucks set up with air suspension. You can get out there and, and on the highways, as soon as you clip 62, it will settle down to help with overall aero dynamics and improving efficiency as you go down the highway. Off-road two, the customer selects that, that off-road enthusiast wants to raise the vehicle. When you're in off-road two, you get best in class brake over best-in-class departure angle, and best-in-class ground clearance. It's two inches above our optimum normal ride height. Off-road one takes you up 1.2 inches. Exit entry level is minus two from that normal ride height. So that's the versatility offered by the air suspension. As Bob said, we, we brought lessons learned from our Grand Cherokee 